Hello, my friends. Hey, everybody. We have such an exciting trip planned. Welcome to Ely, Minnesota. And the Boundary Waters. The Boundary Waters, yes. So. We've been planning this trip since 2020. Before COVID hit. And uh, we're finally here in 2022. Yep. yep. So we're leaving tomorrow morning and uh, we're gonna go out and spend three nights on the Boundary Waters camping and fishing and paddling. And portaging. And so we portaging. have to carry all of our stuff yes. in our canoe on all these uh, like land areas between between lakes. the lakes. Yeah. So, so I'm a little nervous. Yep, yeah, and we're here with Amy's father and uh, our nephew. So, yeah, uh, and nephew's 15. Yep. So it's a whole new experience for him. It's My dad cool. has been on, uh, he has done this before. Yes. Um, and we have not, so. So it should be a lot of fun. A so, little, little nervous. Yeah. We, and we have so much stuff. Oh my gosh. So tonight we're going to go through everything and, and try to get it all packed, but. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. We brought a lot of stuff from Florida and my dad my dad lives in Wisconsin so he brought a lot too. Yes. We're staying at the bunkhouse at the uh, outfitters. Cool. Welcome to the bunkhouse. Ooh. I call it top bunk. <laughs> There's like three, six, seven, eight people can sleep in here and we have this to ourselves. Huh. And a full kitchen. That's awesome. Welcome to the town of Ely. It's actually a cute little northern Minnesota town. And I think this is the main strip. We're having dinner tonight at the Boathouse Brew Pub and restaurant recommended by the Outfitter. All right, never mind. We're heading to Domino's across the street. The line was too long over there, and we got a lot of packing to do. So, we're getting some pizza instead so we can get in there, get to packing. All right, so Domino's was good, <laughs> but now it's time to get to work. So this is all the we stuff have we have. We have so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a lot of stuff. Yeah, but it's all. It's like, all needed. It all has all a purpose. Necessary. It's all got a purpose. We got a satellite dish. A <laughs> satellite dish. So we have most of it in dry bags, and we're going to put it all into these big, big Duluth bags yep. that are ultimately going to go into on the our backs. Yes. And on our backs when you're portaging. Yep. Just so it's a little after eight, and uh, are you going to model it? The outfitters is closed open till 10, so we may need to get more bags, less bags. Right. Don't know. We'll figure that out. Okay. Almost done. Almost. But we got to get back down to the outfitter to figure out fishing gear. Yes, because we live in Florida and I have no idea what pike and walleye and all these <laughs> crazy fish eat. So we're going to talk to the experts. Yes. And uh, we're going to get the right tackle and hopefully that will do We're going to catch us some fish. <laughs> yes. Right, Joel? Yes. <laughs> and then, uh, well, also we got all these work for these yeah, this is all kinds of items. Yeah. Okay, we're done. It's all packed up. All of our stuff. We got three big bags. Three big bags from the outfitter, and then our two dry bags from home, and it's all in there. So tomorrow morning is going to be a really early morning. We have to wake up, and actually, we have to, at the outfitter, we have to use our own sleeping bags tonight. <laughs> So it's not done. So it's not done. We have to pack those up too. Tomorrow morning. So other than that, sleeping bags packed up tomorrow morning and away we go. All right. <laughs> we did good. We did we good. Did, we did good. Team effort. All right. We have the car all loaded up. Time for a quick breakfast of uh, some pre-prepared pre pre burritos. <laughs> We're tossing them in the microwave. Breakfast of champions. Car is almost packed. Almost seven o'clock. Pretty much. We're gonna make it up on time. Ian's over here hanging out. Well, We've been yeah. very helpful this morning. Don't worry about it. <laughs> all right. Well, we woke up early and we've made it as far as the parking lot. So all of our gear is stayed ready to go. Uh, it is about a 45 minute drive to where we launch. And uh, so the outfitters will drive us there with the canoes and they currently have a driver shortage this morning. So now we wait. 
So we wait and we will leave when the next uh, driver gets back. They've already, <laughs> already taken one crew out, so. It's Hopefully a, that's soon. Yes. He's leaving us here. <laughs> We're all by ourselves. Well, almost. No, here. Oh no! He's going that way, <laughs> and we're going that way. We're going this I'm way. Definitely a lot easier. There we go. Get this thing how big? Again? How heavy is that pack? Seventy. What do pounds? we think? Seventy? Yeah, probably. It's, that seems like a pretty heavy pack. Whew. It is. It is. All right, so there's a sternum strap here. Yeah, I feel like I can just fall backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Let's get that sternum strap on you. Yeah. Ooh, look at you. Good? Okay. All right, Ian, let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. Is that how you're going to do it? Oh, they don't look that heavy. There you go. Yeah. All right, go. All right, go. Yay, we made it. Okay, now we're on our second trip back. We're about 0.6 miles or so. And uh, three big bags. I was lucky enough not to have to carry one, so thank you, boys. <laughs> now we have to try to get everything in the boats and get them, get them what, Joel? We need to get them uh, equally balanced. One canoe's in the water. Do you need a push? Let it, yeah. It's a lot less steam. Are you in? You're in? I'm in. All right. It is very unstable compared to what I'm used to. Oh, it's perfect. Not unstable at all. Aw, turtle. Hopefully we see more wildlife than that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be good. Hey guys. Hey, you saw a turtle over there. I know, yeah. I said I hope we see more wildlife than that. Yeah, well, probably will. Really well. So we started out on Little Gabbro Lake, which is entry point 33. And uh, we're gonna head over to Gabbro Lake. And uh, hopefully I got, find a good camping spot. I got Joel paddling me again. <sighs> I'm doing some. Look, she has been helping. <laughs> now we are on Gabbro Lake, out of Little Gabbro, yep. and it is a little windier. Windier, it's a bigger lake, and uh, someone just we saw someone at a campsite, and they said that rain was coming around noon and really bad thunderstorms tonight. So we're gonna try to maybe make it to the first campground or campsite that we uh, have on our list to check out. All right, so we are now somewhere around the first campsite, but it's a needle in a haystack yeah. trying to find this thing. They don't have any markers. Yeah, there's no markers, so we're just scouring the shoreline looking for something that looks like a campsite. All right, so we found the first site uh, that we were looking for, and I think this is it. I just have no idea where to bring our canoes. Right, probably right in front of you. Right in front of us? Right here. Curtis, is this the spot you think? Yeah, right there. Yeah. I know, it literally, it was like, it was like 
What do you think? Do you want to give a quick walk around? Whoa, walk around first. Yeah. Look how gorgeous this site is. So this is the fire pit and grill area overlooking the water. And I think that's west, so we'll probably get a sunset if it's not raining. And then uh, come back here over these rocks. And this is where we will set up camp. Oh, it's gorgeous. Very pretty, guys. Yeah, it's not windy back here. This is home for a couple days. I like it. And then some day trips out to explore. It's just about perfect. So we're walking over to go pitch our tent. I look down the ground and what do I find? Right there. Penny. Lucky Penny, heads up. All right, it's, it's going to be a good trip. It's probably glued to the ground. <laughs> nope, I got it. All yeah. right. Heads up. Let's do it. And I'm so excited. We brought our most of our camping gear with us. We did. So we have our Nemo tent to use here. We love this tent. All right. I feel a little bit like a caveman. <laughs> but you don't have a hammer. Got to put in some stakes. Nothing like a good rock to drive that stake home. Look at that. Mm -hmm. mm, me caveman. <laughs> Alright, the camp is really taking shape. Tent is all up. Amy's now making us comfortable blowing up our sleeping pads. I'm making what? Making us comfortable. Oh yes. Yes, got our sleeping pads and we'll slide them babies in. The Nemo sleeping pads with our Nemo tent. We're obviously Nemo. <laughs> we like Nemo. So, and we got Nemo pillows, oh, I pillows think. Oh, yes. We got new pillows. Alright, we're dorks. It's <laughs> clear. So look at this solar thing that we brought. We bought this a few years ago for hurricane season. Hurricanes. And we never used it. It doesn't have a battery, so it doesn't like store any power. But while it's sunny today, I'm gonna charge this, <coughs> my phone. Yep. And I'm gonna charge my GoPro battery that I've already used. So in a second here, all the lights are on. Look at that. That's, you probably can't see it. That's pretty amazing though. Harnessing the power of the sun, ladies I and gentlemen. I love it. All right, the wind's picked up a little bit and it's lunchtime. Yes. So we're sitting around the fire pit, although we don't have a fire. Curtis has got his sandwich, Amy's eating her sandwich. We brought some pre-made sandwiches with us. Yes. And uh, we did bring our chair zeros. But and who, who gave those chair zeros to us? My guy gave us Thank you, zeros. Curtis. So something that's nice about these campsites is they do all have grills and uh, these are all like the designated campsites and they all have a little like latrine little toilet so we are on our way back to it took us a little bit to find it because there's no like signs or anything but you walk back it should be right here it's basically a hole in the ground but it's got a seat so can't ask for more than that the last thing we need to do to set up camp, I think it's the last thing. Almost. Is hang a bear bag. Hang a bear bag. There's not a lot of great trees because they're all no good yeah. branches. So they're all kind of like that. And they can't really hang it over those kind of yeah. branches. But so, we found this good one. Oh, this good one. I think it's gonna work okay. It's a little far away. Ooh, good one. First try. There you go. Oh. Alright, so we finally put Ian to work. And uh, he was excited to do this. We are having to. We found this this big long branch that was dead on the ground. And Ian is going to cut us pieces for firewood. It's going to take a little while, I think, with this saw. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, Dad, show me your water filtration. This looks pretty neat. This is the gravity bag. Yep. So this is our water from the lake coming down through here, going through the the Sawyer, the Sawyer filter. Flow, mm -hmm. Coming down in here and we let it set. It's been like five minutes or so and it builds up through here. You have this as long as you're below. Yeah, as long as it's up. below. And then uh, we want to take it apart. We clip it here. Take it apart here. And, and then you can, can fill your buckets on. or your cups. And we fill our cup. I love it. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get below the... <laughs> Does it taste good? Uh, yes. Yeah? All right, we may have to try one of those. 
All right, so it's starting to rain. A little bit. A little bit. And so we have this nice awning. Tarp. Tarp. <laughs> Not an awning, a tarp. Mm -hmm. And we decided we were going to come under here and eat some beef jerky and... Curtis is cutting up onions. I was going to say, watch Dad cut up onions. <laughs> On a rock. We're going to put onions and peppers in on with our potatoes. Onion, onion, peppers, potatoes, and little packets, and then sausage. And broccoli. Oh, and broccoli. So That's if it um, stops raining and we can yeah. get a fire. Otherwise, we're punting. I don't know. Otherwise, it's, it's beef jerky. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Ian came for beef jerky, didn't you? Yeah. He heard beef jerky. Yeah, I wanted to beef jerky. <laughs> Well, all right, these are ready to be closed up. Look at that. Yum. While we were putting those packets together, Joel was out here getting the fire going. Battle of Mother Nature. <laughs> it's raining out here. It looks good. Right? You did good. It's working. As long as the rain holds off a little bit. Oh, I hear that thunder though. Yeah. All right, we're ready to put the uh, packets, on. packets on. Here, Joel, here's my... All yeah. right. Oh, yeah. nice oven here. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's thundering out here, Dad. <laughs> ah. Hear that? Doing? All right, time for sausages to go on. I have no idea if we're gonna get this food cooked. Holy cow! So that was only 45 miles an hour. <laughs> it's supposed to get to 70. Well, yeah, so the weather forecast that we heard once we were out here said 70 mile an hour gusts and uh, maybe some hail. Yeah, hail would be great. Uh, lots of you know, rain. What kind of day is it? <laughs> it's a glorious day. day. <laughs> Stopped raining just in time to eat. Just in time. We cooked in the rain and hopefully we're going to eat when it's not raining. So everything kind of started to catch on fire there at the end. <laughs> it did. It did. Um, it like a, that was perfect. Looks yummy. Potatoes. Mine was maybe a little burnt. We were a little nervous about yeah, that. That's all right. I think it's going to be delicious. Look at that. All right. We are. Oh, I got my buff on because the mosquitoes are bad. <laughs> We are cleaning dishes. We have a bucket that is uh, collapsible with some soap. You just gotta get as far away from the water as possible and not near camp. So we are in this tented area, this uh, treat area, and the bugs are crazy. Can they want me to yeah. 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 All right, dinner and dishes are done, and uh, Amy's dad and our nephew went out, hopefully to catch us some fish, maybe, <laughs> maybe for dinner tomorrow. So Amy and I are back, still here at the campsite, and we're going to lay in the hammocks for a little while, but the breeze is kind of coming off. It's still not right now, but it was a couple seconds ago, and it's a little chilly. Um, and on this trip, we brought some puffy blankets that were sent to us by Get Out Gear. First time using them. Really Look light. how small they are. Yeah, it weighs about a pound, squishes down to like nothing. Um, and uh, it's like 50 by 77, so it's a good size. And it does have some snaps, so you can put it around you, kind of like, like a, poncho. a poncho. I'll show you that later. <laughs> and it does have some, some water repellent, so uh, I'm gonna lay in the hammock. And well, just open it up so we oh, can, you gotta okay, open it. Sorry. So this is it. it it's got a puff, but it's not puffy. Yeah, it yet. isn't puffy right now. It, it'll take just a little bit. <laughs> Un unsnap oh, it. It doesn't snap? Yes. Right. Let's unsnap it. Because that's for the poncho. But that's what I like to do when I'm around the campfire. Is I does. like to wear it as a poncho because I get cold. There you go. All right. All right. He's all nice and toasty now. It's pretty cool. Can I go in my hammock now with it's my so, blanket? It's so long I can literally <laughs> cover myself up. I, can I go now? I guess. All right. But yeah. look at this view. This is our view from our oh, cool, site. Yeah. I had to show you this. Oh. It's a little cloudy still, but it, the rain finally stopped. Here's that breeze. And uh, I'm going over here to my hammock. Oh, look, mine is a pretty blue. So 
I'm gonna go get in my hammock and cover up too. Oh my gosh, I'm so comfortable. I'm in like a little cocoon and warm in my little <laughs> blanket. All right, we got the fire going again. Ian just showed up. Hey, Ian. Hello. <laughs> Amy's all bundled up in her new blanket. I love the poncho. I am not at all cold. No. I can feel the wind on my face, but it's not going through. Nice. We got yeah. Curtis hanging out. Curtis is actually the one who, A, got the fire going again, and B, chopped the wood for the firewood. Yes. Thank so, you, Papa. Yes. I got my little handy saw, dandy. Yep. So we are going to sit back and enjoy the fire for a while. Good morning. I just wanted to show everybody our view from our tent. That's beautiful. It looks like a beautiful day today. Ready to get going. Joel's got to have his coffee in the morning. Yes. Even though the water is a little brown. <laughs> It's delicious. It still tastes good. It's just the tannins from the water. The fire is going. Amy is working on cracking some eggs for breakfast. And Curtis is doing some fresh cut potatoes. We are going to be eating like... And we got peppers and onions going in oh, it. Man. Some bacon. <laughs> that is a camp breakfast if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> good. Don't, but don't spill that. They're great. They're great. Five second rule. <laughs> All right, we got the peppers and onions and potatoes done. The bacon's done. Now we're going for the eggs. This is a whole new way of cooking for us, Joel. It is. No freeze dried. No. Well, we have freeze dried for later. <laughs> we just got today. Bring in fresh food while we can. All right, that breakfast took about an hour to cook, but... It looks delicious. It does look delicious. And bacon. Nice. Good job, boys. Are the plates? <laughs> They're behind you. Listen to that wind howling. There's a dark cloud over us. Felt a couple raindrops. Hanging out in the tent for a few minutes, but listen to that. Ooh. Look at our messy tent. We've just got stuff all the way around everything. We have these nice little pockets to store our little stuff, but we're trying to stay out here, out of the wind a little bit. We've got our Enlightened Equipment top quilts, our Nemo pillow, Nemo sleeping pads, my get out gear blanket, our solo um, solar chargers, GoPro battery chargers. We got it all in here. All right, my dad's gonna try to fish in this, this windy weather, but I'm not sure the fish like this wind or if that's good for them, I don't know. I'm thinking not, but it's worth a try, right? That's right, that's where we're out here, yep. Okay, we're gonna. You putting your jacket on? I'm, ca I'm carrying my jacket. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I don't it. have enough hands. We are going for a little hike, hike walk. Um, there's some. Seems to be some trails on the on the land. On the island. <laughs> I don't know if we're on an island, but we're gonna go for a short walk. Hopefully, the wind will die yeah. down before we get back. We we'll do canoeing later. Yes. All right. Trails. They tell me. <laughs> Making your own, maybe. <laughs> That's more yeah, like it. Blazing our own trail. <laughs> That's all right. It's fun to explore. Good. Yeah. I love this moss. It's so spongy. It is spongy. <laughs> I just want to like roll around in oh, it. Look at, it look at that. Here, let me. Okay, ready? It's so oh, spongy. I love it. <laughs> Joel's determined to carry dry wood back. <laughs> I'm dry wood. <laughs> but we still have all this rocks to go. So, no what do you think? Where are you going? <laughs> All right, 
right, be careful. I'm good. It is officially lunchtime, so it probably seems like all we do is eat when we camp, but uh, we do. We do. <laughs> By the time you cook your food, clean up, and then it's time for the next one. Right, <laughs> pretty much. So today's lunch is kicking chicken wrap or hot wings wrap from Packet Gourmet. I'm and these are guys, nice because they're cold soap, so you don't need to. We don't need to heat up anything. No today. boiling water, just so, uh, so two thirds cup of water. So we've had it steeping. Yep. Oh, but here's the best part. We're gonna put some cheese or corn chips yep. in it, and we put cheese on them. Cheetos. I don't know about this wrap, Joel. That was mine. It's yes. gonna be trouble. Holy cow. Amy's going gold. I'm going gold spoon. So we are going to get all of our fishing stuff together and uh, head on out in the canoes in this breezy weather. <laughs> we found actually a little peninsula. Is it a peninsula? A little it's inlet? A little cove? Yeah. We think, shelter. and it yeah. still it still is about 14 feet in the middle, so we're hoping right. to... But it's blowing probably 15, maybe 20, gusting to 30. Yeah, I don't even know if you can hear him say that. 15 yeah. to 20 <laughs> gusts. <laughs> getting in the boats and uh, we're gonna head over there. To that shore because that shore should be blocking the wind so we're hoping for calm seas over there. <laughs> All right we booked it to the other side. Look how calm this water is. Joel is so smart. So you yeah, had no white caps over here so the wind is being blocked by the trees. So now we're gonna go right up that coast and hopefully Start some fishing. All right, Joel couldn't resist. We're gonna, we just threw out a line. Right. Try it our hand. Come on, walleye. Knit. Come on, pike. Yeah, so there's pike, northern pike, uh, walleye, crappie, crappie, however they say that. And. The problem is. What is the other one? Um, pike. Oh, we said pike. Smallmouth bass. Smallmouth bass, that's it. You got a fish? It's either that or it's a log on the bottom. Um, it's a fish. Definitely a fish. Great. Hoo hoo! Joel caught the first one. It's a little pike. A little pike. Hee <laughs> hee! A little pike. All right, I'm letting him go. Wait, let me see him. Come on, I don't, I'm not sure how to handle pike. You got a net. Use your net. I've never used a net. <laughs> oh, he just broke off. Oh, he just broke off. He, he just broke off. 14 inches. This is about as close to paradise as possible. Right. The wind's calmed down, it's nice and flat. Trolling my line. Joel's paddling me. I'm trolling too. Oh yeah, you are. Joel trolling. That's how we got the last one was trolling. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got some wounds over here. Oh, I really wanted to see loons. Hopefully I can zoom in enough to, to see them. Video. Oh, they're so pretty. So it's a mama, a papa, and two babies. Pan? Yeah. You got it, Ian? Nice job, Ian. Woo, let me see it. Ooh, that's a nice one. And a spoon, huh? On mm -hmm. oh, the golden spoon. Good job. We just saw Ian catch a fish. Amy's jealous. So <laughs> she's trying really hard. I like my gold spoon. She loves her gold spoon. That's her secret lure. This weather changes so quickly. Now we are stuck in the rain heading back. So I'm going to help Joel. Ah, I'm going to get drenched. Here's Ian with his fish. Yeah. His pan. Crappie fish. Crappie, yeah. Hold him out to me so I can see him. 
Oh, look at that. Yeah. We're going to fillet him up tonight and have him for dinner. Have him for dinner, I believe, right? For sure. All right. Good job. Let me see that fish, Dad. You did a great job. You did a great job filleting that. Thank you. Nice fillets. Very nice. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna lie. Dinner tonight was a little challenging. We are having to, we're making nor packets, um, some garlic shells and some chicken, pre-cooked chicken. And then Ian ate his fish, fish. Yep. and so we already made a pack of that for them of the pasta and the chicken so we're using yep. this Coleman burner to boil the, milk, the water and the, the milk, milk that we made with powdered milk uh -huh. and water <laughs> and then we're gonna throw that on the fire yep Whew, that was <laughs> it's been I'm, a lot of work I'm ready to eat it's gonna be good <laughs> well the end result turns out good. All right, guys, we were watching a beautiful sunset to end this day. Um, it was a great day. And unfortunately, here in the Boundary Waters, when the sun goes down, the mosquitoes come out. So Amy's a little chilly. And <laughs> so she's got her new blanket on, staying warm. And she's bundled up. She's got a thermosel and a buff. The mosquitoes love me. Yeah, so she looks like a mosquito ninja. <laughs> so... So with that, we will say good night and we will see you in the morning. Now that my coffee is made, this is the view that I have. How spectacular is that? Once in a while, you can hear the loons off in the distance. This morning we are making pancakes. What do we got there, Dad? We're making pancakes. And so we mix some water and Pancake mix. <laughs> That's how you do that? That's how you do it. But first, it's bacon. Okay, ready? All right, bacon is done. It's time for some pancakes. <laughs> they, they look a little thick. They're not spinning out. We'll see all the water. <laughs> it's gonna be first, perfect. First three are always a little. There you go, Amy. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. No, it's, Cooking over the fire. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, they could be a little thinner. We could put a little water in Ooh, All right, like we're getting a li little bit of syrup on here, and that looks really good. All right, we are back on the water, and... Smooth as glass. All right, we're coming up on some rapids here that we just can't do, so we're gonna pull over here. And I believe it's a nine rod, go over here, Joel, go over where Dad is. A nine rod cordage to just kind of maneuver around them. So we're accordaging the nine rod, and it's gonna be Narrow and uphill and over some rocks. <laughs> All right, so Joel just tipped me trying to get off these rocks. All his fault, I'm standing in water. So if the sound is bad, I apologize. Everything went in, but nothing. Yeah. Uh, luckily, we didn't go all the way over. Just a little tippy tip. Trying to pull the canoe out and empty it out. There's no drainage hole on this. <laughs> Not supposed to go under in a canoe. All right, we're trying to figure out how to portage and carry all of our stuff. You can fold that if you want. Rocks are killer. Then you get obstacles like this tree that's down. Ooh. Ooh. That you have to go under. We're just arriving to Turtle Lake. Here comes my lovely bride. Bringing up the rear. 
So carrying fishing poles and like three bags and paddles. I feel like a, a, a pack, pack mule. mule. <laughs> Pretty good. Then. Amy is making our lunches today, packet gourmet. Same as yesterday. Same as yesterday, but they're delicious. But I don't have a plate, so She's, we're just oh, doing lap food here. Tough being her. But look at that. Is that like a lot of food or what? And of course, you can't forget the Fritos, Fritos. like we did yesterday. And again, just to make you guys a little jealous, this is our view for lunch. And I, there's nobody. You could scream as loud as you could. No one can hear you. So we're out here on Turtle Lake. There's lots of lily pads. We're gonna go see if we can find a beaver dam that's on the map. And then we'll do some fishing. Well, all we really see is a bunch of wood down. Oh, we're gonna hit a rock. And we're stopped. All right. In other words, I don't think there's a beaver dam up here. So <laughs> now maybe we're going to maybe at one point. Yeah. So these trees on the other side of this lake are much shorter um, than what we have over in our lake because there was a really bad fire here back in 2008. And I guess just kind of scorched everything. Um, so it's been that long and this is as far as it's grown back so it's getting there years. 14 years thank you i couldn't do the math in my head <laughs> but it'll come back i guess they really need the fires you know to have a healthy forest back to portagene <laughs> again that actually portagene back to bald eagle lake and uh not an easy cordage, so be careful, Joel. Oh no! All right, I'll come get it. All right, we made it through that portage, and we're back on Bald Eagle Lake. How far was it? Uh, 0. 0.6 miles, so it was a pretty good up and down rocky terrain, pretty technical, yep. So we're going to head back to the campsite slowly, maybe do a little fishing, but kind of heading back that way. Hand me the net. Hand you the net. Joel's got a fish on. What do we got here? What is it? It's a little walleye, I think. Yeah. A little walleye. <laughs> well, we both went in the water here. The exact same place. <laughs> oh. It's that friggin' rock right there. It is that rock. That stupid rock Amy, right there. Amy's pulling me up as she pulls me up. The canoe goes like that. <laughs> it goes, Joel. <sighs> Sorry. Refreshing. It is, isn't it? It is very refreshing. Amy is hooked up. Bring it to the boat, Amy. I got the net ready. He's a big one, I think. Just don't yell it, don't put him too hard. Good job. Alright. Bigger than what I got. Yep, reel up, pull up, and then reel down. There you go. Pull up and then reel down. There no, he he's little. <laughs> oh. It's official. Amy caught a little walleye. Little walleye. All right, little walleye. Let's let you go so you can live. Wait, is he that big enough to eat right now? No, nope. Mm -hmm. 
So tonight we're going with the easy the peak, peak refuel, refuel chicken pesto pasta. Which if you follow us, you know that this is one of our favorite dehydrated meals. Yes, this is the last dinner of this trip. And, so and we ran out of like all the fresh food, right. so. <laughs> so. We're tired, so we're making it easy. And however, Amy's dad did saute the remaining onions. Onions, so yes. So we're gonna toss that in and make the peak refuel food Ooh. even better. Almost ready too, I think. Yeah. 10 minutes is up. It's time. All right, my dad wants to take a lake bath. <laughs> Careful! Ooh! And you're in. I'm in. You okay? Yep, I'm standing up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Enjoying a great campfire on our last night. The beautiful sunset. So peaceful, can't get better than this. Good morning. Listen to this wind. So the wind's picked up again today. It's gonna be a really tough paddle. This is our last day, we're heading back. But uh, first we're gonna have some bagels with peanut butter as we are packing up and we've gotta get all this stuff back into the Duluth bags. So that way we can carry all <laughs> the stuff back on that portage. Yay! Yay! We were all packed up. We got both canoes. There's Amy inspecting her canoe. Is she seaworthy? She's good. Okay. <laughs> Are you seaworthy? No, okay. I might sink. <laughs> all right. And then uh, Curtis and Ian's canoe is all packed up. We're ready to hit the water. Right, guys? Life jackets all tightened so. up. Life jackets. It's a little choppy out there this morning. It is. All right. We've reached our last portage. Show me, show me under Back here. Back to the parking lot. Amy Look. is doing some kayak portaging. Whoa, the wind is The wind, all right, me. come on. Let's go. There's a big kite. <laughs> I'm gonna go as far as I can. This isn't too bad. So she says in the first 10 feet. <laughs> it does get worse. All right, Curtis. Here we go. Follow the leader here. One yeah, way. Right. All right, Amy's got some pretty muddy technical ground. She maneuvered through pretty good. Hopefully I can do the same and not fall. So look at these rocks. Get Amy's portaging over. I know I keep showing videos of Amy carrying a canoe, but it's pretty glorious. Those things aren't light. I don't know how much they weigh. We need to I figure think that out. It's like 35, 40, but we'll find out. Amy says 35, 40, but they feel like 55, 60. <laughs> but the thing is, you really gotta watch your footing too. It's not just carrying it, you got curves and rocks and roots. And... So, you're doing great, Amy. Amy is quite the trooper. Done. So, my Amy, my lovely wife, did it. She carried that thing 0.8 miles. Well, yeah, 0.8, right? Yep. Back to the parking lot. All right. Nice job, baby. Now, if that's not glorious, I don't know what is. Okay, All we right. made it back. Last portage is done. All in one piece. Trip is over. No injuries. No, no injuries. A few bug bites. And really, really chapped lips. Oh, and so we forgot our chapstick. I forgot my chapstick. It makes me sad. <laughs> so we uh, we ended up spending four days and three nights in the Boundary Waters. And it was awesome. Um, yeah. The weather was kind of iffy. It was a bit windy, as you saw. But we had that one day that was just absolutely Perfect. amazing. So right. we're lucky to have that. Yep. So if you want to go on a you trip go, that is fun, that is beautiful, that kind adventurous. of adventurous, tests your limits a little bit, this um, is it. Boundary Waters is a good place to go. Yeah. So. so if you enjoyed the adventure, please subscribe to our channel. Bloop, bloop. 
and uh, turn on notifications. Turn on notifications, and uh, we'll catch you guys all on our next adventure. All right, guys, thanks for coming along. Have a glorious day. See ya. Bye. Bye.